Hello, welcome to Current Bike. My name is Girish Karkar, and I am in Coimbatore to test the latest Skoda that will be coming to India next year. This is the Skoda Kylac, a sub four meter SUV that will compete with the likes of the Hyundai Venue, Kia Sonnet, and the Maruti Suzuki Brezza. Also, to a certain extent, the Nissan Magnite and Renault Kyga. Now, as you can see, it's camouflaged for a reason because this is a pre-production prototype. The changes can still happen on this car. not with the exterior design as much but more with the interior design unfortunately i cannot tell you much about the interiors today but on in this video i'm going to tell you what i have learned while sampling this car especially about the driving and handling of this vehicle so come with me and i'll show you what this is all about so what we do know so far is that the Kylac is an all new SUV to be built on the MQB 27 iron platform which is an adaptation of the MQB A0 iron platform used for the Kushak and Slavia it is the first sub 4 meter SUV built for India by Skoda one can rightfully argue it is late to the party but the Czech brand foresees a continued sales surge in the segment a sub 4 meter vehicle also means that it can double its current customer reach from being able to cater to roughly 30% of indian consumers to nearly 60% kylac which roughly translate to crystal in sanskrit will feature the brand's new modern solid design language that has been rolled out internationally and hints of which were also seen in the kushak it will be less rounded and go for more flatter and straighter lines which should give it a better overall suv stance despite the smaller size It will feature unique, sleeker LED headlamps and DRLs. Kylac will be 3,995 millimeters long. However, it will boast of the segment's second longest 2,566 millimeter wheelbase, slightly lesser than a Mahindra 3XO. The prototype car sat on 17-inch wheels and looked adequate. Ground clearance is around 189 millimeters. Kylac uses hot foam steel for the front crash module, which Skoda says. is a first for the segment and expects it to score high on crash tests apart from these we'll get 25 safety features including six airbags traction and stability controls multi collision braking and rollover protection amongst others the makers claim to have tested the kylac for over 8 lakh kilometers and invested close to 2500 crore in r&d hey what you need yeah man i got it wow what you say hey we about it huh? get the crane yeah why you sagging why you sagging not at top boy you cabin the kylac will be launched with a 1 liter tsi engine with the option of manual or automatic gearbox both will be 6 speed units the engine will make 85 kilowatts of power which translates to roughly 114 bhp torque will peak at 178 newton meters not segment benchmark but it felt sprightly and eager Floating the throttle is met with a nice engine note that sounds sporty inside the cabin. Vibrations and harshness were not noticeable. The steering felt light by Skoda standards. The manual gearbox has a good shift feel but long throws. Both clutch and brake pedals feel a bit spongy but effective. Maybe not tuned for a race track use but could be practical for a regular one. The Galax gets front disc brakes and drums at the rear. The front brakes get self-cleaning technology which is relevant for dusty conditions just like a kushak the kylac has very similar suspension setup macpherson strut at the front and twist beam suspension at the rear it is a bit more softly sprung so it feels choppier compared to say the bigger kushak body roll is a tad more on the other hand it cushions occupants well as it can absorb road irregularities better it has electric power steering and steering column has tilt and telescopic adjustment the interiors were yet to be revealed but expect it to not be very different from a kushak The Kylac will also be manufactured in Chakan which is being touted as one of the most eco-friendly car manufacturing facilities in the country. In fact, the Kylac 2 shall feature upholstery using eco-friendly bamboo fiber. The global premiere of the Kylac will happen on November 6th. So do follow the Current Bike channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the bell notification icon so that you don't miss out on all the details that we will share then.